Biohacking Planet Earth. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 274. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 274, June 24th, 2018 edition, and today's topic is biohacking planet Earth. We hear a lot about hacks and ways to improve our lives. Why don't we hack the entire planet? And if we're going to biohack it, why don't we do it sustainably and for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet with a consciousness for the highest good of all? This is what one community is doing. And everything you see happening here in the background are seven different sustainable village models, our open source education program, and all the other different com com components that we're creating that cover all aspects of the human experience. The foundations of sustainability that are physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing, survival needs, as well as the emotional foundations of happiness and reducing people's overhead and cooperation, collaboration, community, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good uh, economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together and biohacking planet Earth by making them open source, free shared, and replicable pretty much anywhere in the world. As a complete model, which we call a teacher demonstration community village city or hub, and you can see examples of these village models happening in the background here, or as individual components. People don't have to replicate a complete, complete teacher demonstration hub if they don't want to. If their idea of biohacking planet Earth is by growing a garden, planting something new, maybe implementing or starting a uh, nonprofit organization or starting a community-based homeschooling education model, something like that, implementing fulfilled living practices, any of those things, whatever it is that's most interesting to you, we're trying to create something for everybody including people that might not share our values at all, that might have a very different perspective on the world, that aren't interested in living or creating for the highest good of all, that are only interested in whatever it is that their needs are. That is all totally far, fine. Our idea of biohacking planet Earth is to involve everyone and to create everything that we create so that any level of involvement, any level of participation is a step in the right direction. And so we've taken the consciousness for the highest good of all, and at this point we brought together over 300 plus volunteers to work together that have volunteered their time. We're an all-volunteer team, and we've created everything that you see happening in the background here. We've designed seven different sustainable village models, and we're focusing on the Duplical City Center right now, as well as the Earth Bag Village, and we're putting all these things together. We're open sourcing and free sharing the complete process, not just the plans and the blueprints and all that, but we're actually creating step-by-step -step tutorials for replication of everything that is what we're doing as well, and creating it as a replicable teacher demonstration community village city and hub that will start with 50 people, will grow to 100, then 400, then thousands, and invite hundreds of thousands of people to participate and open source and free share everything that it is that we're doing. And we're demonstrating and refining that process right now. We're already demonstrating exactly how detailed the work is that we're doing, working through the process, exploring designs and expanding those designs, evolving them, open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do, including the open source and free share process and designing everything, including that process so it's replicable. So everything that we're doing is a template for, rec for replication. It's a template to make the next iteration even easier, to make it even easier to replicate what it is that we're doing so that other people can contribute their ideas, their designs, and their concepts of biohacking planet Earth to the global collaborative and cooperative too. Working together as team humanity to create a better world for everybody and doing it in such a way that not everybody needs to participate. Only a very small percentage of the human population, maybe 10% of people need to participate to be able to create something that's so big and so influential and so beneficial that it'll touch the lives of everybody. And then from there inviting, and from here where we are right now, we're already inviting everybody to participate, but from there inviting the rest of the world to participate with a massive integration and application of what it is that we're creating and a global cooperation of people working together demonstrating abundant, healthy, 
lifestyles built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, simultaneously addressing the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come with a model for biohacking planet Earth that benefits us all and doesn't require everybody to participate, as I've said. Just the people who want to. And open source and free shared so that people can do it different. Do it better. You know? Improve on what it is that we're creating. It's only a stepping stone and a launch point. And everything that we're doing is open source uh, blueprinted so that it's designed, launch point blueprinted, designed so that it can launch specific and additional other versions of everything that it is that we're creating so that people have variety and choices based on what it is that we're creating. It can take it in different directions, build it with different values, but, but designed with a foundation that is created for the highest good of all life on this planet to benefit all people. And because of that, we believe that we really can't go wrong. That starting with that, that the vast majority, it would take a real effort to take what it is that we're creating and do anything other than benefit humanity because we're designing with sustainable principles. We're designing with regenerative principles. We're designing based on holistic principles. We're designing for biohacking planet Earth for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. And we think that's an amazing thing. And we make all of our decisions with the consciousness for the highest good of all, doing our absolute best to do our best for everyone everywhere and understanding that, hey, we could be wrong, but we're doing our best and we're not ideological about it. So if people disagree with us, great. It's open source and free shared. So you can do it different, do it better. And hey, let's work together and create a world that benefits for everybody within our lifetime because it is possible if you run the numbers. This is what we're doing. Everybody's invited to participate. And with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We're a 100% volunteer, 100% unpaid, including myself, team, non-governmental organization, creating world change because we want to live this way, because we want other people to live this way, and because we know that a sustainable planet is possible. And if not now, when? If not us, who? Now is the time. And so we're making this happen. Check out. Here's one week. Check it out. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working toward this goal of biohacking planet Earth. Here you go. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished reassembling the Murphy Bed nightstand in 3D to double check our parts changes, test the newest assembly instructions, and produce the renders you see here. Heymanth Kodaru, structural engineer, completed his 14th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This week, he completed the preliminary seismic analysis to check shear resistance of the Earthbag structures using equivalent lateral force. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 12th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi created the introduction page for the nightstand component and started parts creation and layout design for the storage area component, some of which you can see here. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, finished another round of edits and updates for the Seven Villages book we're developing. You can see some of this here, including the finished first and last spreads for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates also. Here's update 119 of Dean's work, showing more test renders for the developing section view of one of the Cobb Village living units. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her 18th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week, she finished additions and edits and produced these two final renders of the student housing designs, which can now also be found in the related section of the website. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the bedroom renders in the Duplical City Center to test the new lighting and color schemes. We designed the ceiling lights and updated the other lighting details as shown here. The core team also double-checked and updated the parts lists and graphics for the Open Source City Center Pipe Furniture webpage and added a cost analysis section for each of the designs. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the City Center. 
This is Dipti's 82nd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finishing testing what the full spectrum colored LEDs will look like in the bedrooms so we can create and add to the website the graphics shown here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by checking the wind load calculation for the living dome roof and started marking beam members with notation numbers. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, also completed his 11th week helping with the beam design and calculation spreadsheet creation for the city center structural engineering. This week, he reviewed and updated the snow load calculation sheet with his comments on snow drift load. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 23rd week helping with the HVAC designs for the Dubuque City Center. This week's focus was initial hardware placement and zone outlines in AutoCAD and updating the details on the HVAC zonal spreadsheet to match. You can see some of this work here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 10th week helping with the Dubuque City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was another round of research and updates to the patio furniture, pipe furniture, and dining area furniture costs, some of which you can see here. Last but not least, Da Wa Feng, civil engineer, completed his eighth week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he focused on adding into AutoCAD the 3D dome, finishing version one of the sprinkler pipe layout, and started working on the related system calculations. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. We added and reviewed more worm videos on the food rollout doc and created a separate section for earthworms along with an introductory paragraph. Our next step will be to combine the info and write a short paragraph for each video. The core team also continued researching and creating the apiary parts list and cost analysis list. This week, we set up the apiary instructions and researched and started creating construction details for the beehive, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team rebuilt the feedback format page to match all the other pages of the evaluation and evolution component of the Learning for Life program. You can see some of this work and the new page here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the highest good network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, Shuber Mittal, software delivery manager, and Swati Jayasilan, software developer, continued their work on the software. This week, they added the ability to track policy infringements, functionality for labeling and editing them, added seconds to the time log timer, and fixed an issue with reports not refreshing the page properly. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of biohacking planet Earth for the benefit of all people and all life on it. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email, every time one of these updates comes out, uh, send an email to One Community Updates and we will add you to our email list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Uh, also, if you like the easiest way to help us out, help us share our information. Like this video, like any of our social media posts, visit our Facebook page, visit our LinkedIn page. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to support us, to access our information, to share our information. So if you are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, whatever your favorite social media network is, we are most likely there because we're on about 20 different social media networks and we post every week. 
Uh, and of course, if you'd like to help, there's lots of other ways to help as well. This is our helping page and you can see all the different ways that you can help. And of course, just watching this video is help. Sharing this video is help. The donations that we get is help. We're a 100% unpaid staff, as I already said. And so if you're somebody who's donated to us, know that 100% of your donation goes towards forwarding our open source mission. It doesn't go towards my paycheck or the paycheck of anybody else. It goes to forwarding our mission because we're a 100% unpaid team. And uh, last but not least, thanks for watching to the end. You know, not many people make it to the end. So if you're somebody who's watched the end, thanks for watching the end. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for every anything that you're doing, even if you're just thinking about us. We appreciate it because we really do think that makes a difference. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on biohacking planet Earth. Thanks for following our progress.